So I'm guessing that you want to take the next step in your career, but you're unsure or have questions about which direction is right for you. Microsoft is one of the most reputable and well-known companies in the world, and their new and improved Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate Certification is equipped to provide you with a strong base to take on the new wave in information technology. Understanding the MCSA curriculum will equip you with the foundation you need for your IT career. Having this certification ensures that you are proficient in the core skills required to work on critical computer support systems. There are three different skill set pathways you can choose when deciding on which MCSA certification to get. The first, Windows Server 2008, proves that you are ready to work with a Windows Server 2008 in a real-world business setting. It will cover a set of primary skills which are relevant across multiple solution areas. The second route is Windows Server 2012. Some similar to Server 2008, this also shows that you have the skill set needed to work across servers in a business environment. The main difference? This certification equips you with those skills as they pertain to Windows Server 2012. The other option you have is to take the SQL Server 2012 route. This certification validates a set of core SQL Server 2012 skills that are relevant across multiple solution areas. Those of you who are familiar with Microsoft may be confused at this point. What happened to MCITP? Microsoft could no longer ignore the role of cloud computing in the IT and software development world. Companies are swarming to the cloud to better serve their needs, causing the need for cloud proficient professionals to expand as well. To meet this need, MCSA, MCSD, and MCSC certifications will return to duty with a small change. A will now stand for associate and E will now stand for expert. The reason for this is to keep the terms more generalized so they can span more areas of IT. The new certification programs will be very similar to the current programs and can be used interchangeably in some aspects. The new certifications will be based on three tiers, which I will discuss with you in just a moment. So what are the differences between the new and old in a nutshell? The new program will address cloud services everywhere it's applicable. These changes were made based on customer feedback. As customers are changing, so must the professionals. And as I previously stated, customers are switching to cloud computing and demanding IT professionals to fit these wants. The three tiers of Microsoft certification are simple. They are Associate, Expert, and Master. As you climb these tiers, you are increasing your skill set and valuableness to an employer. You will be known as an MCSA, MCSC, or MCSM, depending on which tier you are currently in. And just as MCSA is, MCSC and MCSM are further divided into specialty categories to fit the needs of specific clients. I'm going to take a moment to focus on just one certification and break down the components of what it takes to get there. Let's look at the MCSA Server 2008 certification. It takes three exams provided through Prometric to gain this credential. The first exam is number 70-640, Active Directory Configuring. The second exam is the 70-642, which covers Network Infrastructure Configuring. Finally, you will take the 70646 Server Administration. All of these challenging and task-specific exams will prepare you to handle the configurating and administration of a Windows Server 2008 user. I hope you now understand a little bit more about who is an MCSA and why they are no longer referred to as an MCITP. But none of this really matters to you individually unless you're interested in the field. So is this certification for you? Well, if you are in the system and network administrator role, yes, it is for sure. It will help you better navigate through the server and be able to recognize problems before they arise and troubleshoot them as they do. It is important to network analysts and technicians as well as technical support specialists for the same reasons. Becoming an expert in Server 2008 will widen your skill set and make you a more valuable asset to employers and clients. You may be wondering just how valuable you will become. Based on data from 2011, the average salary of someone holding an MCSA certification from the careers listed above is $77,000 a year, the low end being about $64,000 a year and the high end earning over $91,000. As you will find in all careers, this range varies on where you reside. In California, that same average is $89,000, where in Florida it is $73,000 a year. These numbers all factor into the cost of living in a particular reason. We want you to succeed in your journey to become certified. With our convenient locations in Greenbelt, Maryland and Ashburn, Virginia, we offer direct services to the Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland metro areas, as well as to the Dulles Corridor in Northern Virginia. Not located in this area? No problem. We will come to your facility and provide you with access to the best subject matter experts available. With our incredible instructors and our state-of-the-art facilities working hand-in-hand, -hand, we provide you with every tool necessary to succeed. Online classes are available to those who desire a more self-paced and self-guided means of learning, which enables you to work around your schedule as you see fit. 
So call us today at 877-564-8724 and find one of our scheduled and experienced friendly training coordinators to work with you and answer any question you may have and get you set on the right path. Thanks so much for listening in today and gaining a little bit more insight on how to become a certified MCSA and how it can give you the boost you need to succeed in what you do.